right, YouTube, let's build this stroller. Started off with a standard baby trend stroller, jogging stroller that I found on Craigslist for 30 bucks. So the first thing that I really needed to start doing was taking apart all the fabric material, including the awning. You can see how nasty everything was. Bottom tray right here, starting to get a tear in the bottom of it and I was afraid of stuff falling out. So that's another thing I wanted to address. The main thing that you want to make sure you save when you're tearing this off is this little strap right here. It's a, like a tensioner piece that holds the back into place. Make sure you don't cut that off. So I went to Home Depot, grabbed some wire shelving, it's like five bucks, and then just cut a piece to length that would fit inside of the seat position. I fastened that in with just some regular zip ties, uh, cut it down with a hacksaw for metal. Now the other thing I got was a five gallon Sterilite tote, you can see here. Uh, I think I got it at Walmart, not 100% sure, but that thing fits absolutely perfect in that bottom storage unit that we cut out. Uh, I drilled some holes in the top of it to then again fix it with zip ties, as you see here. And I cut a little relief notch in the back so that it would fit underneath. And this thing's pretty sturdy, I don't think it's going anywhere. So after that, I uh, just spray painted the entire thing matte black and got it ready to go. Now the bags that I got, there's a bag here from Tactical Gallon. I got this at Big Five. It'll hold about 25 discs. It's a standard gun bag. You see the double zip. It's like a pistol bag. Worked out perfect. Fits, fits the disc really nicely. Um, the only thing I did to this bag to keep it upright and rigid is I took this piece of quarter inch maple and just cut a couple pieces to fit for each one of the side pockets. That really just helps keep the disc in place and the bag upright and nice. So as you can see here, this is where the awning piece used to go. Now that rod wouldn't be able to go down any further than that, but now the material's gone, this thing will drop down and it fits perfectly just like it's a bag catch here. So I'll demonstrate that if you're going downhill or something or need to make a fast stop, that thing really hugs the bag and the plywood in there and keeps that from falling out at any given time. So next was the backpack. Same company made it, Big Five. Uh, that's where I got it on sale for 35 bucks and the backpack straps you can see here I just took them apart and wove them back in through the other awning piece to keep them in place um, Then this bottom piece like I had mentioned earlier on saving that little tensioner That's what's going to keep the backpack from staying in place. You can see it at the bottom here So once you get your backpack on Just make sure that that's tight and where you want it to be a little bit higher up on the backpack and that's going to keep it from going anywhere, falling in, and let you have easy access storage to that tote underneath. So the backpack itself has this front pocket that I just turned into a putter pocket, really. Uh, it can zip up. Maybe with two putters in there, it'll still zip. Um, I leave it open like this. You probably fit like four putters in there if you really needed to. But it's a great storage option. So you got this front pocket. And it's got this smaller pocket up here. Which is really nice to keep my minis in, some change, money, whatever. Pretty basic stuff. And as you can see, it's difficult doing everything with one hand in the video. And the second storage compartment in here, you know, it's a pretty standard backpack. Could fit a good amount of stuff. I keep snacks, band-aids, hand sanitizer, pens, all that stuff in there. And then the big main compartment in the back. It's got a couple little pockets in there. I keep some extra towels, a thermal, some jackets, whatever need be for the course. A little koozie pocket here. And it also has this little mesh pocket up front. Put your keys, wallet, whatever you need. And the storage tote on the bottom definitely holds some weight. Pick up trash in it, throw a cooler in there, whatever you need. Uh, last thing I wanted to do to this is, these are tube tires. I was going to poke some holes in them and uh, fill them up with great stuff, foam, kind of airproof the tire. When summer comes around, I want to get goat heads in there. And uh, I got a umbrella here, a nice golf cart umbrella that I was going to get 
umbrella holder for it's on order and it's gonna make everything real nice rain or big sun so this also had a nice little storage area up here it does have some speakers in it they don't sound that great maybe down the road I'll change those out something that sounds a little nicer but keep my little pencil in here throw your keys whatever you want got a couple cup holders they don't really hold big cups though and that's pretty much it there guys it's a cool little DIY show you here how I break down once the round's over take that bag out now that backpack can stay affixed on there and the tote um, it still collapses down as you can see here about the same size that it would have normally been I could throw that in the back of my Explorer and got plenty of room works out great so then the only thing you need to do then when you get to the course is just pop out your bag unzip it throw it in there bring down that awning piece that holds it into place and you're ready to go throw so thank you very much for checking out this video guys I uh, hope I gave you some ideas some inspiration to go out and build your own thing so all in all you're looking at right around maybe 115 120 bucks all together if you're including the, the rack piece the tote spray paint and all that but I mean the stroller and the bags about 100 bucks 30 bucks for the stroller on Craigslist 30 bucks for the bag and 35 bucks for the backpack from Big Five so thank you again for watching guys have a great round the next time you go out and I'll see you soon peace